Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Deadpool and Wolverine released its final trailer and big spoiler warning! Marvel, what are you doing? Aren't enough fans already planning on seeing this movie in less than a week? Do we really need to know that Daphne Keene is returning as X-23 Laura from Logan? You got the wrong guy. You were always the wrong guy. Till you weren't. Do we have to expose poor Daphne Keene from her press tour for the Acolyte when she said she definitely wasn't going to be in this movie? That, plus a full body look at Lady Deadpool and Headpool floating behind her, and Cassandra Nova having rigged up some device to spaghettify reality as we saw in Loki season two. Ah, we just have to kind of stop watching these trailers until we see this movie. So on the eve of the release, I wanted to share with you all here our final predictions for this movie, a kind of scorecard that we can revisit after the release to grade ourselves on how accurate our predictions were for this movie over the past several months. So this chat you're about to see with Jessica Clemens and me was actually part of yesterday's episode of our weekly sneak peek show. Please enjoy and we will see you on the other side of seeing Deadpool and Wolverine. All right. Let's make some final bets mm -hmm. for Deadpool and Wolverine. I just have a list of like possible cameos or things that could happen in this movie and I'm going to run through this list and Jessica I want to ask you which one which reality you think will be in this time next week. You ready to make some final predictions for Deadpool and Wolverine? Yes, and I'm going to be wrong on all but one. Because that's usually how it goes okay. on our predictions. All right, let's start with the big thing New Rockstars has been talking about in 2024. The possibility of a Taylor Swift cameo in this movie. And I'm not going to specify whether it's just a cameo as herself, or as Dazzler, or as Lady Deadpool, or in any other role. But do you think that we will see Taylor Swift in the credits of this movie in some capacity? Yes or no? I think we're going to get a Taylor Swift song. I don't think we're going to get Taylor Swift. Okay, I'm going to say yes. I think we will get a Taylor Swift cameo in this movie. Okay. Not just a reference to her name, but I think she will appear in some So way. you're saying body, she's there. I'm saying in song, she's there. I'm saying her appearance, so... No, no, no. You have to say the full body. You can't cheat. <laughs> no, I think she may have record. Like, okay, so you know how when Deadpool is in the TVA, yes. in the trailer footage, and he sees a, a screen with footage of Deadpool's mm -hmm. Emmy acceptance speech for Welcome to Wrexham, I think one of those screens could show Taylor Swift and she would have to be credited in the credits okay. of the movie. I'll allow it. Yes. I think it's I just think song. Minimum, I don't think it's gonna, we're gonna see her. So we'll see who's right at the end. <laughs> I think at minimum that, but I think she could also just like physically be on set for the movie. Okay. Um, so Jess says no, I say yes. I right, said yes to the song. <laughs> you said yes, Jess says yes to the song, but no to the physical yes. cameo. And I say yes to everything. Okay, next question. The character of Lady Deadpool. Mm -hmm. It's re you know related to this. But do you think Lady Deadpool will be a well-known female celebrity cameo like Blake Lively? Or do you think it could be Ryan Reynolds himself in a wig? I hope it's Blake Lively. The hair kind of matches the images that we've all been seeing. Her hair is like the same sh the same shade. I think it's going to be Blake Lively as well. I hope it's Blake Lively. Why not? Yeah. She's a great actress. She's beautiful. Great. She'd be fun. Um, also on that uh, on that soundtrack list that he put out there, mm -hmm. you do see Lady in Red on there, and I think that's going to play when when Lady Deadpool struts out. Lady in Red. All right. Uh, next possible thing that could happen: the possibility of Cerebro being oh. inside of uh, the giant man's head or just Cerebro being important yeah. to the plot in some way. Cerebro or Cereno? Are you proud of that? <laughs> I am. And it's just beginning. <laughs> no, just you, you said, wait. Just you wait this, for this. This let's get I weird. think Cerebro will show up. Okay. Did he just, uh, in Deadpool 2, he just wore, was he wearing Cerebro? In Deadpool 2? Um, he was wearing like this weird helmet. He was wearing the helmet, yeah, but he didn't go inside of the sphere. But he had like been in there because that's get that what helmet. I. That's how I'm imagining it's gonna be like that again. Okay. But him actively using Cerebro, I don't know. I think someone's gonna use Cerebro okay. in this movie. I'll say so yes. I'll say no, just to fight against you. Okay, fine. <laughs> We're fucking <laughs> all right. Next thing, do you think we will see the Battle of Earth from Avengers Endgame, the final battle from oh, Endgame? Yeah. Will it be revisited? Yes, one hundred percent, absolutely, absolutely. I, it always is, dude. It always is. It always is. And I say yes as well. I just think like him saying "I am Marvel Jesus" is totally a reference to "I am Iron Man," and I think he's going to say that again. One hundred percent. All right. Next question, Tobey Maguire. 
Are we going to get Toby or are we getting Noby? Ooh, I think we originally did get Toby until he's been recently in the press for dating a 22 year old. <laughs> oh, I don't think they care about that. I think they do. I think they're like, ooh, wait a minute. It's getting negative views right now. No, no. Hollywood so is. Also, why would Toby McGuire be in it anyways? Wouldn't they rather have Andrew Garfield because it's like funnier? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't. I guess Andrew Garfield being in there is kind of funnier because his funnier. universe is not as uh, everyone forgets that universe, you know? I'm no going to say no. Toby. I'm going to say no, B. I'm going to say yes, Toby. I'm going to say yes to all these. You said I yes think. to too many. They all can't <laughs> happen. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, well, this next one, uh, the question of Ben Affleck showing up as Daredevil. Are we getting <laughs> Affleck or aw, oh, fuck? I, I would pay to see this movie four times. If Ben Affleck shows up as Daredevil's Ben Affleck. <laughs> I don't think so. I think, I think Ben Affleck's too, I don't think they would ask Ben Affleck. I'm gonna say aw, oh, fuck. Okay, you're saying aw, oh, fuck. All right, I'm gonna say yes to Affleck. I think he's in it. That would I'm be yes very fun. These. That would be very funny. That would be so funny to put that man in this movie. Um, question, will this movie establish how mutant kind will work in the future of the MCU? Mm. Like, anything about the mutant gene 100%. in people's DNA? 100%. You think yes? I think so. I am going to say no. Okay, you said you were going to say yes to everything. I so know, you're a liar. I was going to say yes to everything. And I did theorize this in a video recently. I just think that uh, Sean Levy and Ryan Reynolds may feel like that was not uh, under their purview to establish uh, exactly how the mutant gene will work in the end. I completely agree with that. But I think Marvel would be like, okay, your, your movie has to contribute in a major way. So you're going to be the mm -hmm. one that introduces the mutant gene. <laughs> I see. Was, uh, All right. Final question, Secret Wars. Do you think we will get a, a physical appearance of someone playing Doctor Doom or God Emperor Doom? No. I think the bits that we saw in the trailer that are like, oh, this is Secret Wars. I think it is Secret Wars, but I think we're put onto the planet where this faction is ran by uh, Cassandra Nova. So mm. it's one portion of Secret Wars. And then they go through the portal to a different place. So we're not going to see a lot of Secret Wars planet. We're just going to see like this one portion of it. So I don't think we're going to see Doctor Doom, but Doctor Doom is there. See, I think we get a verbal reference to Doctor mm -hmm. Doom, but not any physical reference. Yeah, Only because in the 2005 and 2007 and 2015 movies, those two actors who played Doctor Doom just don't have nothing against those actors. Just didn't really have that memorable of a take on the character. Uh, Do you say 2015? Well, the 2015 Doctor Doom. Yeah, I mean that guy. Have you? Seen him in anything else? He he probably he just looks like probably. every other guy. <laughs> and he's you know he's a very good actor. I'm just saying like no one thinks about that performance other than the scene where he's just like Cronenberging. Yeah, way when he's yeah, yeah. <laughs> that part and the fact that it's Doctor Doom. That was like the reason why I saw that movie. And then I went, this is not the Doom I was thinking. No, it wasn't the Doom anyone was thinking of. <laughs> so I, I think we might get a reference to Doctor Doom and how like forgettable those dooms were so forgettable that they didn't even make this movie i god think it's gonna be the joke god dang. yeah i think I, so i don't think it's gonna be that he's bad i think even cassandra nova might be like or maybe it is that he's bad cassandra nova's like i run this part because that stupid scientist is an idiot <laughs> <laughs> all right well those are the predictions we are locking in and I'm then locking. this time tomorrow or sometime uh monday or tuesday we will know how right and wrong we were. And we'll revisit this. I can't wait for Taylor Swift to physically show up. She's going to be the opening. It will open that way. Like the Celine Dion. It will open with freaking Taylor Swift. Hi, Peanut. Look how good Deadpool looks in that suit. Nerd Riot can't get you a form-fitting leather leotard, but they've got awesome tees perfect for showing off your love for the Merc with the Mouth. Nerd Riot has a whole bunch of designs inspired by the film, from the best-selling Dead Man in the Mirror and face-off designs to a fun choose-your-fighter design in the style of an old-school 1v1 fighter game and a crayon doodle of some best bubs. Grab one now to wear to the theater on opening night and be the best bub to whoever you're going to see it with by grabbing them one as a gift too. Click the link in the description below or head to nerdriot.shop to get your claws on some Deadpool and Wolverine tees today. Uh, this is going to be a fun week and uh, I can't wait to just kind of like either if I'm right or I'm wrong about Taylor Swift to finally just put this to bed and have answers. Oh my, I think that's my biggest, uh, my excitement for this movie is being like, I just need to know. And I think yeah. uh, Marvel should keep that going forward with trailers. Just showing us the first like 10 minutes or 40 minutes or whatever they've been saying. I'm like, this is great because I still have questions.
Yeah. I still have questions. Nothing's going to be surprised. Like in Spider-Man No Way Home, we still saw pieces that were like, he's fighting someone that is blocked out of this image. And we only, mm. and it's easy to assume it's another Spider-Man. Here, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's yeah, going on. I honestly right. think some, like 80% of Hugh Jackman in this trailer footage has yes. been composited. Yes. It doesn't I, look real. It looks like weirdly painted in the it, shot. And we're all just like, looks great. And we're like, wait, no, that it looks, also looks like an yeah. action figure. It looks just, in ra- it's so random places. It's him either yeah. like just angry and falling or him angry and walking. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. What scene yeah. they're at. And if it's in the same scene the same time i don't know what's going on so i'm very excited to like just see it to be like oh and i'm seeing it twice uh this following week i'm seeing just it just twice well this week this week because i'm seeing it thursday before uh um, mm. san diego and i'm seeing it monday and then i'll I, see I it again I've when i come back <laughs> yeah seeing it monday and thursday and i think i got a second screening on thursday oh my god I got two i'm not gonna yeah, see my kid at all <laughs> The baby, babies can come to Deadpool Wolverine. It's so loud. <laughs> it's so loud. Babies can scream. Uh, I think their cutoff was ages three and up are okay. Like, they that's have not R-rated. <laughs> well, people were asking, it's R-rated. It's an R-rated Marvel movie. And then, like, oh, Sean true. Levy's like, I think if they're three, they're okay. I'm like, I don't want to sit next to a three-year-old at a movie. That'd be weird as hell. My mom did that, though, with, like, Jurassic Park and me. She would bring me, and I was, like, an infant. So... <laughs> There's those people do exist. Those people do exist. People do it. Yeah, we're going to see them this week. Um, (laughs) All right. Just a little sneak peek at New Rockstars for the next week. We have what might be our busiest week of all time at New Rockstars. So tomorrow, tomorrow will be uh, my breakdown of House of the Dragon episode six. Um, And then on Tuesday will be a no spoiler review of Deadpool and Wolverine. It's coming out on Tuesday. Uh, And then on Thursday will be our breakdown of the post credit scene of Deadpool and Wolverine. We're, our, we're not going to spoil it uh, from the beginning. We'll put some proper spoiler warnings. But once you get into that video, we're going to spoil the shit out of that movie. Uh, and then on Friday will be uh, a video that I have been preparing for for this entire year. The Easter egg breakdown of Deadpool oh and Wolverine. God. It's going to be long. This is going to be like a, at least a 45 minute video. And it's going to be awesome. Awesome. It's gonna I be, just already know. It's going to be over at least 300. Yeah. And if that's not enough, <laughs> Jessica and I will be at San Diego Comic-Con. So we're going to have a video on Saturday evening that breaks mm. down all the big news in one video. Uh, a full slate explanation. Uh, and then if there's a Thunderbolts trailer, we'll have a breakdown of that trailer uh, and whatever the other big news. If there's another trailer, uh, you'll see a trailer breakdown on Sunday. And then the following, hopefully the following Monday, we'll have uh, our breakdown of House of the Dragon episode seven. But I don't know if I'll have time to get to that for it to come out on Monday. Yeah, so, dude, yeah. we're going to be busy this weekend. <laughs> it's going to be a busy, they, busy, busy week. It makes sense for them to make it like the week of San Diego Comic-Con, but it also is horrible. For my heart, yeah, I know. <laughs> for Why my heart, do that? it's gonna be, but it's it's gonna be so great for the fandom. Like everybody, yeah. there's gonna be so much Deadpool outfits, Deadpool yeah. Wolverine oh, yeah. outfits at San Diego Comic Con, and Definitely. good for them, and uh, so many different versions of Deadpool to be. Well, we will leave it there. And a uh, reminder to everyone that we will not have an episode of the Sneak Peek next week. We're gonna have too many other things going on on the New Rock Stars channel next week, but we'll be back the week after that. Um, and uh, follow Jessica at Lulu underscore Clements. Follow me at EA Voss. Subscribe to New Rockstars in the Break Room and the Deep Dive. All right, everyone, have a great week. See ya. Bye.